Hello, we're back with more Danganronpa 2. So, now we've lost um, um, Gundam and um, Nekumaru for real this time. What the hell is what the hell is Chapter Five gonna bring us? It has gotten insane. Even again, even more so than the first game. <clears throat> After being released from the Fun House, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. Oh, and just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. Uh, so few of us now. You know, every time we meet up here, it just makes me realize how crazy this whole situation is. Um... The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Yeah, they're noticing too. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. Stupid fool! What? Oh my! That... Hey! It's Nekamaru. That was Coach Nekamaru's voice. Huh? Is he... What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? Kazu, are you dicking with us? I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that! <laughs> Hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I am starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru Teru was. Yeah, right. I'll say. Don't ignore me, I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important? Alright! This! It took me all night to make it. Did you make a clock out of him? My... Is that a Nekumaru doll? I'm no doll! I'm Minimaru! <laughs> Minimaru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, it's boy. Isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Oh, I don't think she appreciates. She probably thinks you're making a mockery out of him. Thanks. So cute! Thanks, I'll keep it! Oh, she likes no. it! Well... I never said anything about giving it away. I'll beat you up! Don't be so stuck up! Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa! Hey now, that's a bully's logic! Man... Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm... And as long as we have it, we won't, you know, about Nekumaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So, if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again... Engines revving! Guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. Huh. Gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> of course! Um... In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh, poor Kazu keeps getting shot down. Oh my! Oh, did you say something? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. Well, Akane sounds appreciative. I am Mini Mart. Man. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. Dude! That's right! Oh, by the way, you can use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Are you serious? That's amazing! Of course! I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Connie looks really happy. Hey, hey. Hey, I mean, I mean, Kazu, you... I mean, Sonya's obviously not interested, but you might have a shot with Akane. What happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the friggin' time. Well. Still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Yeah. He's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Yeah, he suddenly got super arrogant. Hey, what? Hey. What was up with that? He... Again, he saw something in those files that just caused him to become 
very dismissive of almost all of us. That's even more reason we should avoid him. But still... Even if we do avoid him, what are you going to give him if he approaches us? Nagato's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? <laughs> you know what Nagito said during the trial. Oh, right. You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Right, Hajime's a reserve student. He's not he's not actually hey, an bastard. What did he mean by except for Hajime? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh. What, that's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. Aw, uh, they're not... They're not gonna look down on him because of it? It's not something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I had talent all over. But shit. My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting to Hope's Peak meant I'd finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Right? Sheriff Hajime, it doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course! She is right, no matter what, you are our friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan. Listen! Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey! The hell, you're saying that all wrong. Yeah, what's that got to do with it? Oh, oh my god! Mon what the hell happened to Monami? There was a real close battle! I am sorry! I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. They're, they're totally ignoring her! Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me? Huh? Oh, what the heck? You're covered in blood! Hmm? Ah, you saw me! Yes, that's right. The mana beast this time is very strong. You? Gross, don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like Phil. Hey, hey. Why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> yes, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeed in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh, really? I see. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of Shabu Shabu from an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Um, don't tell me. This again? You're gonna say stuff like it's not like me to get off the island. Why bother going to the new island? It's true, I don't really expect much. Yeah, especially after the trap that Monokuma had for us on the last island. Don't misunderstand. Who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously we're gonna go, dumbass. So... Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my serious side. So if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this trap in one blow. Fight, seriously? That fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you... Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey! Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. <laughs> Don't brag about that. Shut her down! If you have the power to fight amongst yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. All right! Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right! Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. It's starting to get pumped up. Future Foundation, Monokuma, Monami, I'll crush them all at once. Let's 
believe in me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. And I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Yeah, at least it sounds like... It sounds like the others don't think any less of... Of Hajime, after hearing that, which is good. All right, though. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Whoa! So this like, is the last island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a Snapshot an urban metropolis for the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh. Big brother Monokuma's watching. I'm sure Kazu is like. He is like creaming his jeans over there at all this. It's a bunch of strange machines line up in all directions. Feels very sci fi. Hmm. Sea King Industries. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so what the heck are they making here? Are those... Are those more mono beasts? Yeah, he's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. That... That thing on the left looks like another of those mono beasts. Seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. This machine is making another machine? The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey! Doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Yep. Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here? That fine, seems. Fine. Yep, that's what this place is for! Hey! Hey! No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced that a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye bye! That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong with you. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? That seems most likely. Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What the hell? What is this ghost in the shell shit? This a mad machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Like a Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekumaru was made here? That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. 
very possible. Oh, I see. I almost missed it. Huh? Are you serious? Let's see if Kazu has anything more to say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you okay there, bud? Hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> Obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it, it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? I'd like to hear more about this, actually. So what was written in the email, anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. I don't think this is a story. This is supposed to be what's going on in the outside world. And those riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Oh, I think it was. Didn't they say that the whole tragedy started back when, like, some revolt occurred in Hope's Peak? And if you remember, back in the first game, there was that, there was that classroom that was, like, had, like, blood and bodies everywhere that Monokuma had said he left it alone. He didn't do anything with it. So, it means that must have been where it all started. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society, until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after another. Hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? Sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Like, World Ender? Hey! Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story I idea, because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. Should always delete embarrassing emails right away. About that, are you sure it's okay to say that it's a made-up story? <laughs> of course! I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not! There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Oh, you had to reference Death Note, didn't you? You're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. Right? <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's right! It's not so weird. The whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Huh? They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... If that's true, our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards! That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Right. I mean, Monokuma has stated before about being all about, like, spreading despair and whatnot. There's a, there's a military base here. Damn. Looks like some serious shit. That thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Can we ride it? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. 
Connie and Sonya are here. Join the place. Man, this place is boring. It's boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with his fists! Huh. That goes for women, too. Alright! Wanna battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boo pillows. Challenge accept. Oh, no thanks. Boo pillows? <laughs> This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. All right. This might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future Federation Foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank, no problemo. What the hell? <laughs> I... Her, her, her home country scares me a little. No problemo? Um. A course in Modern Warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this? Sonya's country never ceases to baffle me. However... Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to Please us. Please wait! No, that is wrong. Um... Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. Huh? That's the future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what's it say? Um, Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. Central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um, in actuality, there was something written here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Hmm, wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um. Hmm. I think I know. I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well? However, there's one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um. It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented how strange that was, right? Yeah, I remember that. However... According to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? Um, they are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell's going on? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that's the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. That is interesting. What else is here? It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms. There's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really alright to handle these carelessly? Yeah. 
I knew you could do it. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? Why are you trusting us with all this hardware, Monica? This helicopter. Oh, that... Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Teru Teru? This helicopter. Don't screw with me. Oh, ow! Um. Did I punch it? Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it. <laughs> but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it. I'm so weak. Well, you know... Yeah, get some training from Akane. What else we got? Very, uh, ominous factory. This is a plushy factory. Hi, Chiaki. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime! Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then you want to go inside together? Mm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? I'm not good enough for you, huh? Now I'm the one getting shot down. You... Hajime, you're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? How can you tell? Well... I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So, instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I guess you're right. Okay. <laughs> Alright then, I'm going inside. Oh wow, mass producing those Monokumas. The heck is this? What was being manufactured one app after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was. Monokuma. The, the conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. Well, that's obvious, I suppose. Well? Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Yep. Like this one game where you put caps on pens, or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. That's what comes to your mind? Is that even fun? Yeah, I thought you'd be into more... I thought you'd be into something a little more involved in that, Chia. Okay. The Monokumas are being processed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see, so these are plushies. Oh, they're not actual copies of Monokuma? Monokuma plushies. Ah, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie, too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> this is the resemblance uncanny! They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich! Mm. But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Mm. I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? 
There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right. Then we should go there for a little while. Looks like the break room's on the other side of this door. Sounds like a place for housewives to gossip, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this factory. Oh, so we can't actually go in there? Without thinking, I peeked into the piled up stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, even a Monokuma guitar. First there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> mascot popularity doesn't last forever! I gotta earn the big bucks while I can! A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. <laughs> In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. And yeah, he is he is all about the, the merch, I guess. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monokuma's poetry collection. How stupid. Who the hell's gonna read this crap? Hey, hey! There's another book here, too. Let's see. Monokuma's Most Precious Moments. See? That's the actual title of this book, but it's a collective new photos. Oh my god. Monokuma's already naked. Yep. I know. <laughs> there are a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. There are various goods inside them. There are even household appliances and musical instruments. They're probably used for packaging goods before they're shipped. Looks like they're waiting to be shipped, but I don't... I don't think these are ever going to leave the island. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all look all BOOM! Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. You're so stupid! Of course not! You're such a fool! That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop! I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world! Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie! I can't believe you thought that far in the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey! Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No, no! Hey, don't say that! Let's do our best together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forgive you! Because there's no merch of me! My little sister! Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Hmm? Not a tortoise? Hey, um... A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Hey! Two old guys living together? Shing! The old guys thought rabbits are as popular as bears. The end! Ooh. Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words... So you probably made merch of you, it's pointless! <laughs> a half-pink rabbit is so lame! You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense! You stupid brother! You did this to me, you're the one who has no fashion sense! Oh, here we go. <laughs> way of snapping back. Right? <sighs> but honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special pleading service! So whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here! Come on, what are you waiting for? Hajime, <sighs> let's run. You're right. Ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. <laughs> a 
Well, that was interesting. It's like he just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> there never hints in obviously suspicious places. Anyone who looks obviously suspicious isn't the killer. Yep. That's usually the norm. Yo. Hey, Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up for you, Hiko? Well... I was thinking we've probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I think I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Damn right! Then you want to meet up with everyone to discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. Be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over the street with the food stands. I don't remember passing it. I said, oh, this must be it. Huh. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? What about Nagito? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... Hmm. I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... I believe there's no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that's been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey! Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma's forcing us to kill each other, Monami's been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? Yeah, we don't know where she stands yet. That's At wrong. least not completely. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait! Even if they both oppose one another, it is, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? I'm starting to get pumped up! Like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Oh, you're into three-way, huh? Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking like like that because you're actually a traitor that's working for them? Damn it! Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled! No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down! Kazuichi Soda, shut up! Oh? Yes! Listen! There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh, my. You lied? Well... It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we'd be suspicious of each other. I wouldn't put that past- You insolent fool! How can you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? <sighs> huh? Oh, there he is. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito. What do you want? Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? Shut up. That is... What does that... Now then! You asked, where have I been this whole time, right? Well... I was in the middle of looking for someone. Who? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location. 
and carefully watching us. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? What survive? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Biapia? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? But then he was... What? Huh? But then he <laughs> was killed. Oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. <sighs> Which stage? You're not making sense at all. It's not making sense! <laughs> Thank Jeez. you, Minimaru. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Biafia, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Why, indeed. Right? Don't you think it's strange? I do, actually. Huh? What does that mean? That is an order! The issue is not what he means. Please take back what you said about Biafia dying in vain. That's right! Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. <laughs> I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is trouble. Uh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. <laughs> I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs me my life. What? You're gonna weed out the traitor? Please wait! As I've already said, there is no traitor. <laughs> I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. Again, he he seems like the prime candidate if there is a traitor, but again, it's, he's way too obvious. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I... This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope. What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. He, a lot of him being the ultimate lucky stew, and then also calling himself the ultimate hope. He's like a, he's like a twisted version of Makoto. Now then, I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> Tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Baby? Akito, what does that mean? Bye now. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey! I don't want to think about it, but... Could he be planning to kill? Are you kidding me? Kill? Who? Who's he gonna kill? Damn it! Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Please wait! There is no such person! I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along? I will never, ever believe that! Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But... What if it's Nagato? Or, what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? That's right. Then we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop is the only way! Oh. It's impossible. Nekomaru's not even here anymore. I'll show you my serious <laughs> side! I got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too! Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I've come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi's right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If 
for being cautious, we'll have to act fast. But what is this undescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Hmm. I think then we shall call it here and we will continue onwards next time. I'm playing a game.